The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of Revelation. After this, I saw another angel come down from heaven with great authority given to him. The earth shone with his glory. At the top of his voice, he shouted, Babylon has fallen. Babylon the great has fallen and has become the haunt of devils and a lodging for every foul spirit and dirty, loathsome bird. Then a powerful angel picked up a boulder like a great millstone. As he hurled it into the sea, he said, This is how the great city of Babylon is going to be hurled down, never to be seen again. Never again in you will be heard the song of harpist and minstrels, the music of flute and trumpet. Never again will craftsmen of every skill be found in you, or the sound of the handmill be heard. Never again will shine the light of the lamp in you. Never again will be heard in you the voices of bridegroom and bride. Your traitors were the princes of the earth. All the nations were led astray by your sorcery. And after this, I heard what seemed to be the great sound of a huge crowd in heaven singing, Alleluia, salvation and glory and power to God. He judges fairly, he punishes justly, and he has condemned the great prostitute who corrupted the earth with her prostitution. He's avenged the blood of his servants, which she shed. And again they sang, Alleluia, the smoke of her will rise forever and ever. And the angel said, write this, Blessed are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. And he added, These words of God are true. And our responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 100. Serve Yahweh with gladness. Come into his presence with songs of joy. Be sure that Yahweh is God. He made us. We belong to him, his people, the flock of his sheepfold. Come within his gates giving thanks, to his courts singing praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For Yahweh is good, his faithful love is everlasting, his constancy from age to age. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. And Jesus said, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then you must realize it will soon be laid desolate. Then those in Judea must escape to the mountains. Those inside the city must leave it. And those in country districts must not take refuge in it. For this is the time of retribution, when all that scripture says must be fulfilled. Alas for those with child or with babies at the breast when those days come. For great misery will descend on the land and retribution on this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be led captive to every Gentile country, and Jerusalem will be trampled down by the Gentiles until their time is complete. There will be signs in the sun and moon and stars. On earth, nations in agony, bewildered by the turmoil of the ocean and its waves. Men fainting away with terror and fear at what menaces the world, for the powers of heaven will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand erect. Hold your heads high because your liberation is near at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you.